So my name is Emma Wiggs and I'm a paracanoe athlete. I've been involved in paracanoe since 2013. I went to the London Games as a sitting volleyball player and then swapped sports after that to, to join this crazy world of paracanoe. My proudest sporting achievements are probably going to the, to the Paralympic Games. So I was lucky enough to be in London and then in canoeing I've been to Rio and to Tokyo um, and I'm working as hard as I possibly can to see if I can get to Paris. So I think going to the games and, and coming back with the gold from Rio and then I got a gold and a silver in, in Tokyo are probably pretty good highlights. I think the work in the UK has, has really been massively important over my career as an athlete. I think one of the biggest things that they've tried to, to kind of combat and change has been the reporting of, of doping and, and athletes or personnel uh, acting as, I guess, whistleblowers. Um, I think there's sometimes a bit of a, a stigma around that. So I've seen a bit of a shift during my career of, of the education that's provided and the reassurance that this is all of our responsibilities to, to keep sport clean um, and that actually there is support available to be able to report things confidentially um, or anonymously completely um, and that will help in the fight to, to do what we all want which is to keep sport clean. I think if anyone's got suspicions in their sport I think you know you've got a couple of options you can go to your lead anti-doping officer uh, within your sport or you can go straight to UCAD through any of the um, methods of anonymously reporting stuff and I just would urge people to be brave and to be bold and and to report it you know it's not necessarily going to bring about an immediate ban it could just be a suspicion but it's better to report something than to say nothing um, and to leave things unsaid and, and uninvestigated so yeah my personal opinion would be to report any of your suspicions and, and let the experts do the, do the work. My advice to young aspiring athletes would be just to, to work hard to make good decisions um, and to also keep a bit of balance to, to make sure that you've, you know, you've got an awareness of things that outside of your sport and, and make sure that you've got that as part of you too and, and just make sure that you take any opportunity to learn and, and to, to develop your skills whether that be on anti-doping information um, or nutrition or actually your physical efforts in your session so be like a sponge and uh, soak it all up and, uh, and good luck. Hi I'm Emma Wiggs and I'm a paracanoe athlete and I'm 100% moi.